What's going on, everybody? Bobby Fire, the man, Eric Sheets Haber. We're going to be talking a little Monday Night Football showdown. And it's, uh, you know, look, it's it's the are the Giants good thing? I think the Giants are actually better than than uh, than people thought coming into the season. And uh, they, they have a very good chance of being three and zero after tonight uh, against the against, you know, a very shaky Cowboys roster right now. So uh, this is a big game for them. And and uh, Sheets, uh, what do you what, what do you have any takes on the game? You have any thoughts or uh, well, one thing I will say, I mean, from having grown up with the Giants for a long time, there, there's. There's nothing quite like Giants Cowboys like in this area, mm-hmm. and on a Monday Night Football game, I mean that place is going to be freaking rocking. Okay, yeah. so it's a it's in my opinion it's a really tough spot for Cooper Rush to come into if you want to know the truth. Mm-hmm. Um, um, it's it it's listen it's like a pick 'em game. It's a minus one or whatever it is. Um, I. Only because it's only one, am I a little suspicious of it? Because I, I would just even even put my biases aside. I just, I just see the Giants just kind of rolling them a little bit. But I mean, Cooper Rush. I mean, it is what it is. So I don't know. We'll, we'll take a look. In addition to that, I think that I think Dalton Schultz is going to be out as well for 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 the Cowboys, who is one of one of you know one of the one of the top targets. And when you have like a backup quarterback, I mean, they need usually that tight end to kind of to kind of be that guy. And so what, what else is Dallas going to do? You know, like when's the last time Zeke was can really be relied upon. They'll, they'll run both probably 50, 50 split. I would imagine um, powered and, and Zeke. So it's, it's a, it's probably going to be some kind of defensive game with, and the total kind of supports that. So I guess the question is, how do you deal with the showdown slate with what is it? A 40, what's the, what's the total 30, 39, 39 total in a pick em game, you know, uh, uh, I, it's, it's a, uh, it reminds me of the reminds me of the uh, of last night of San Francisco Denver, right? I, yeah. I don't know if it could be that. I can't possibly be in a, another eleven to ten, right. but um, but I don't know. I mean, again, if I weren't from New York, you might you might take this uh take this pick to be with a little more credence. But I I I, I think the Giants are kind of a lock here. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. kind of a, it's quite that's the way I'm looking at it. I, I like the Giants as well. Um to cover this one. I think it is a tough spot, but I, I do think that, uh, you, you know, we, we can talk about some of these, these plays because I think you're going to get massive Saquon uh, and shock. And as the captain, I think Daniel Jones will be the other natural captain. I think too many people will play Ezekiel Elliott and not enough people will play, will play Tony Pollard a captain. I would personally rather play Pollard. I, I understand that, that Zeke is technically the, the lead running back there, uh, but he's the worst one. I I don't know what they're doing with him, even playing him. Like, to be honest with you, I think Tony Pollard is a significantly better play and maybe sharp people will get on that by the end of the day. But I like the idea of captaining uh, Pollard and uh, he's, he's probably my favorite of the get off the board captains. The other one would be Cooper Rush. I think Cooper Rush is going to be very low owned as captain. And I don't think that he couldn't, I think it's very possible he could score 20 fantasy points. So those guys, those are my favorite, you know, less than sub 10% guys. Um, and then you just play roulette with the receivers from, from the giants would be my next favorite thing to go captain, but really like Pollard tonight. Well, you know, when you have like a total, that's that low, remember that, that the, the reason why I think the quarterback's going to be popular and even while Cooper Rush is probably a good place, so somebody's got fa- get to get fantasy points, right? Even if it's like a 20 to 20 to 15, 20 to 17 game and, and you don't really need like that many to make it to make to be optimal you know so if you could give me 15 to 20 out of cooper rush that could be just just plenty you know it's not like it's like chiefs against the you know the the colt chiefs against the the bills or something where you give me 20 fantasy points i guarantee with nowhere near the optimal you know what i mean like um so in in, in a slate like this that's where all these other guys first of all that's where there's other hoodoos come into play but also like even the more solid guys it's not like I don't want Cooper Rush. How many is he really going to get? Well, you know what? 20 could be just plenty. You know, like you really don't need that much in, in a game like this. So I guess mm-hmm. that's one way to kind of look at it. Let me let me put it to you another way. So let's just let's just assume that that the game is going to be somewhat low scoring. Um, whatever. Do you think, I guess right off the bat, this is a this is a slate where you could talk about kickers and defenses or, or not really? Yeah, I think that's totally viable. Um I I I didn't get to it in my first builds, but I, I totally think that it's 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 viable. I mean, the nine fantasy points for 4K is very much on the table for both of these kickers. And I, I would take I think that's reasonable. Um, 
obviously the Giants defense I prefer over the Cowboys tonight. They're cheaper too somehow. Yeah, so I, I I'm okay with uh with all like the truth is the Cowboys have a good defense, like a really good defense. Okay. Um, so you know, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I think that I think the defenses are are completely in play, and I don't mind if you want to play one or both of them. I, I would prefer, like I said, I prefer the Giants a little bit, but I I have like a nice three three build that I lent that I built without without either defense. But I'm I'm totally okay to go to back to the defenses because the receivers for San Fran for the Giants it's for San Francisco. Um, for New York, for the Giants, are I, I don't know what's going on. Um, Galladay played seventy-eight percent of the snaps. I think it was uh, week one, week two. He was on the field, I think, for two plays total. And he's in the middle of a big contract. There's rumors he's going to get traded, um, but I don't really feel comfortable with Sill. They have a bunch of other guys. They, they, they Sill, Slayton. They can rotate a bunch of other guys in there, and I just don't feel great about any of them, to be honest with you. Um, the, the one that you feel the best with is Shepard, of course, and that's that's probably the one you play, I guess. But I'm trying to avoid this merry-go-round, and I can't decide whether or not I take a stand and try and play some of these guys, a Richie James or something, or do I go the other direction and say, you know, f that, I don't, I'm not going to play their receivers, um, and I'm going to stick to you know, basically the guy who I think will be the tight end for the for Dallas, play Pollard, play Jones and Rush and Barkley. And then I guess maybe try and find a way to play one giants receiver, but I don't even know how to, how to rate this. Cause they did such a dramatic change from week one to week two. And I'm not really sure what's, what's, what's playing into it so much. I guess Richie James may be the second one I feel the most comfortable with, but. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a believer in the Richie James uh, being like a legitimate, you know, part of the, of the receiving core. You know what I mean? Um, uh, the other thing that's, I think it's kind of like kind of sneaky was that, so before the first week of the season, there were rumors that Kadarius Tony was kind of like on the way out or whatever. Mm-hmm. And and he ended up like only playing like 40% of snaps or whatever. And then his last start, he got like three targets. And now he's like out for this game. Like he didn't practice Friday or Saturday. Right. I don't think he has anything to do with injuries or anything. I think he's gonna get a wave. I mean, from what I what you hear around here, like the te- the coaches just hate him. Um and <laughs> And so, but, but the point is that he's out, he's, he's not playing this game. So any, any, any worries about like Tony, like getting involved in like Richie James's stuff or like anybody else's stuff is not, doesn't exist for this game. So I think that that they, the, that is somewhat condensed now between Shepard Galladay and, um, and Richie James. Um, so I think like I'm saying, I don't think Richie James is much of a speculative play anymore. You know, I think he's like legitimately a part of this. Uh-huh. Um, Galladay is like interesting. I haven't really been following. I mean, he's just he literally he didn't play at all. Yeah. And now, now he's talking about they, they asked him if he wants to trade. He didn't even he didn't even answer. Yeah. So I, I, I don't expect him to get the ball too much. So yeah. maybe, like you said, maybe he's just the old faithful. Maybe just Shepard is just the man. You know, like uh, maybe he'd be your top receiver. I mean, he did have double digit targets, and he's had you know he's had he's been the, the team for a while. You know? Yeah. And, and and so I, I think I trust Shepard and James, I guess, in a weird way, the most. And then we have to talk about this other dude, this David, this David Sills guy. Um, three, four targets, three receptions. I mean, the, the, the but but you know, we're not even burying the lead. The point is, is that what you said at the beginning was that is that Saquon Barkley is going to be like the equivalent ownership of like Lamar when Lamar is on a slip on a showdown slate, you know, like 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 Saquon Barkley between the flex and the captain, the two of them, I would yeah. say even in like a lottery, what is he? It's gotta be 80% old, right? I mean, it's yeah, just, I would awesome. imagine. yeah. And in the five fifty five, even more so, you know? So, yep. so, so, so that's the, that's one question is what do you do with him? The, the first thing that you, that you mentioned right off the bat is, well, you could start by just not playing in the captain. I mean, you could certainly get di- different that way. Mm-hmm. Um, and I know probably there's some people listen, my uh in my impetuous use, I, I would say, you know, what if what if I just asked him? What if I asked him? He had a game like last like last week. What happens? Uh, can you pause that for just a second? Yep. Sorry. No problem. Hey, I'm recording. What's up? All right. So go ahead. Sorry, you're talking. Oh, you're... yeah. So so I mean, like I'm the reason why I'm spending these times with receivers is that if you want to play part of the Giants offense, you have to find some I really think you have to find something other than Barkley or Jones as the captain, if you want to know the truth. Um, I don't know exactly how you're going to do it, but I think oh, you, I think you might have to take a shot with one of the guys I mentioned. 
And I hope that they hope that that's either that they get lucky and have a huge score, or at least the, the savings will get you more stuff in, in the, in the flex positions. I don't know. What, what do you think about all yeah, that? So I, I'm playing Pollard as my captain in my big. Oh, one. like that. All right. And then I'm also going to be using the, uh, the backup tight end, uh, Jake Ferguson. Um, he, he was on the field for over half the snaps. He didn't get any targets, but I'll take a three uh, yeah, for a 200 guy. He's, he's my favorite of the 200 guys. Um, and which guy is this? Uh, Jake Ferguson. He's like the other tight end uh for for dallas uh he's he's i believe he's a rookie he's 23 years old and uh i i'll i'll tell I'll, I'll gamble on him as of right now seems like the the backup tight end it could be this peyton hender shoot today but i i'm i'm going more towards ferguson here um and well, well not I, not to fill out not to fill out the whole lineup but like if i put like power in the captain and then ferguson yeah you could you could jam like everything the, the aforementions you know what i mean and leave yeah. yourself plenty to do whatever Yep. In the last spot, you know. Um uh and yeah. One take to find someone you can put in there and leave money on the table, which 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 might not be the worst lineup in the world. Yeah. Um would you would you would you would you consider and I probably wouldn't, especially with one of them in the captain, but would you consider playing both Zeke and Pollard or not really? Yeah, absolutely. I have okay. no problem with that. Um, especially if I wasn't captaining them, but yes, even with captaining them, I think they're still totally viable. I got do some more homework on this Ferguson. Though. Oh, he's the, oh because Schultz is out. Okay, well, Schultz is supposed. I suppose Schultz as of right now is supposed to play. Oh, when I saw it's, it's just questionable, oh, and and, oh, and it's leaning. There's some people who say it's leaning more towards that he won't. Some people okay. are saying that he will. Um, he's gonna t- he's gonna test it before the game, and and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. I mean, it's sort of up in the air for him right now. Is where it's at basically. So yeah. What, what about the other receivers for Dallas? How do you rank these guys? Like like uh, CeeDee Lamb, Noah Brown. I guess those are the two guys that just, just the only guys that I would consider. But I You know we didn't call up your screen, right? I'm just making sure. Oh, it's fine. Okay. We don't need to. I was just throwing it out there just to make sure you know. Um, but the – so for me, it's – I mean, it's always CeeDee Lamb. It's – but it's uh, – I don't, I don't particularly like the other receivers for Dallas, to be okay. honest with you. Um, but Noah Brown's the only other guy. I mean, yeah, Noah Brown. Um, uh, is it Simi Fahoko season yet? Or no? I just don't know who else to do. <laughs> I think you take a shot with Hender shoot shot, or you take a Hender <laughs> shot, or you take a shot with uh, with Ferguson. I, I don't think I'm going to get these out to get to these other guys. We'll see what happens with Gallup's health before the game too. So if Gallup is available. I, which again, I don't, I don't expect, but if he is, I think Gallup would be a really strong play. But no, I, I think you're gonna get like if you get Schultz ruled out, I think that Ferguson is gonna be one of those plays where he's gonna be like twenty percent owned and he should be eighty. You know what I mean? Like I really, I really believe that. Yeah, I mean, if, if he's, out. he's got everything going for him. He's a rookie, so they want to see him anyway. You mm-hmm. know, and it's, 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 uh, and it's a position that they're gonna want. You know they're going to want the quarterback to look towards in general. So I, I especially if I, Gallup I, is out too, yeah. Which I think yeah. So if in fact you get that, uh, you obviously would rather get the news later, right? But but I think that this is going to be one of those. This is my opinion that, that when it comes down to it, this is going to be a play that's that's probably twenty percent, fifteen percent in the lottery, forty percent in the five fifty five, and should be eighty. Like mm-hmm. I think that that's what's going to that's 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 my opinion on that type of play, in, given everything else about this slate. I, I'm with you if Schultz is out. If Schultz if is in, I'm still person. making the play. I'm still playing him. Oh yeah, because they do want to give. Like I said, if, if if he's if he's playing, doesn't mean he's not hurt for openers. Yeah, and, and maybe maybe they do. Maybe they split snaps with the Ferguson, which is plenty for me at 200. I almost if you give me one I'll target, together, yeah. that might be enough. You know, like, they could easily play to both of them together too. Right. Um, right. Yeah, so uh, let's see. I'm just taking a quick look at, at some Ferguson stuff and see if there's anything else I can dig up. Um, I know, you know, I know he was at Wisconsin, and I don't think he ended up getting drafted though. Um, the the other guy, the other guy, by the way, um, that they kind of like here in New York is is this tight end. Of this oh, he was drafted in the fourth round. Never mind. Yeah, that's actually reasonable. Sorry, go ahead. Is that the Giants like this this Daniel Bellinger guy? I mm-hmm. actually I actually uh, gave him out in his last game. He only got the one target, but he did a touchdown out of it. But they but they but they do like they do like him here. And on a slate like this, where 
like I said, if anything, at this type of position, people would play the Dallas guy. This could be like a Daniel Bellinger random touchdown. Could be at, at, at I don't a, even know if that's enough fantasy points for him, to be honest with you. That, he, well, he, that's he, what I'm he, saying, because he's expensive. Sort yeah, of. he's he's so priced. <laughs> yeah. Um, so he's a little tricky to get to for that. But I, right. I hear you. I, I, I like the idea of it. In fact, I actually have a build where he could end up easily fitting my last thing. But I think I'm going to leave money on the table and play Richie James instead. Yes. Um, but, but yeah, I, I think that that's, that's the name of the game, you know, get creative with your captain to make it not Zeke unless, I mean, look, if you're playing a bunch of lineups, you're going to have some Zeke exposure. He's the most logical captain. Um, but I'm sorry, uh, not Zeke, Saquon. Why do I keep saying Zeke? Right. Saquon. Um, and, uh, and Daniel Jones are, are the two guys who I'm, because I'm not playing that many lineups, I'm not going to have in any of my captain spots. You know, this, uh, this especially considering like, See, Saquon was a kind of invisible last game, and yet he's still. You're still. You still would need those points, but you wouldn't I need. Mean, he still had twenty touches. You know what I mean? Like twenty, excuse me, twenty touches, twenty rushing attempts, and four targets. Yeah. You know, yeah, in, in in an invisible game. You know, so right. Um, and and like you said, I mean, he's gonna. You know, as long as he's healthy, I think he's. I really do think it, even on classic slates, I think I think he's he's a good play under ten, under nine k and any week. You know, as long as he's healthy. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, so so I think that the summary of this is probably, well, it's really key to watch that tight end position and watch the Schultz thing, because yeah. I think that Ferguson could be really a, a key play here. As a matter of fact, I'm glad we did this because I wouldn't have thought of that. Um, and, and that's, I think, one thing. The other thing, like you said, I think Pollard and the captain, you know, listen, if you get away with it, right, what do you need from that? Well, obviously, two touchdowns would be great, but but even one touchdown and the majority of the work might be enough. You know, you might have like ten targets tonight. That's like, what I mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. Especially if they're they're coming they're coming from behind in the second half. Yeah, and and uh, yeah, Z, if, if they're coming from behind, you might not see much of Zeke in the second half. You That's know? absolutely true. Yeah. And then we've seen. And by the way, we've seen Pollard already, and we've seen them both on the court on the field together too. But Zeke just hasn't been able to do anything at all. Um, Pollard yeah. at least has some bounce and can catch the ball out of the backfield and make plays. Yeah. Uh, Zeke does look. I hate the. I hate to use the common phrase. Everybody always says he looks spent a little bit to me, and he just has for a while. What'd you call him? Spent. Oh, I thought you were gonna say wash. That's the one that I remember. washed. I'm sorry. That's what that, I mean. The same thing. I mean, just right. I hate right. to say it about players because we hear it about guys who are like 25 years old all the time in basketball. <laughs> right, right, right. The next year, they're like computer. Trey McClanahan's, Trey McClanahan's done. That's a yeah, yeah. Now, we've heard DeMar DeRozan is past his prime for like seven years, and right. the guy had his best year ever last year. Like, <laughs> You know what I mean? Um. Anyway. Uh, by the way, we haven't spoken, but, but shout out to the Albert Pujols, by the way. Yeah, yeah. I Congratulations mean, you know, doing a Dodger Stadium, it was great. Everybody's yeah. cheering for him. I mean, he, every, he's beloved. He's, yeah. every, he's, he's a great, you know, he's always been a great guy, and um, I was happy for him. It's still crazy to me that when he bet when he was batting every at bat, even after the seven oh one, everybody was standing the whole time. Which well, I thought it's was... respect, you know what I mean? It's been around yeah. forever, you know. It's a uh... it's cool, and and we won't see him. We won't see him again, you know. Oh. Um. Anyway, hopefully this was a good little glimpse. We can touch on it a little bit when we do the baseball stuff at five thirty Eastern. And with that said, I think that we're going to get out of here, right, Sheets? Sounds good. All right. Good luck, everybody. I'll see you later. All right, Bobby. I'll see you.